If EOE is caused by food allergies, why can't my child's doctor identify them with allergy testing? For the sake of discussing EOE, we can simplify food allergies into two types. There's the fast food allergy and the slow food allergy. The fast food allergy, what happens in this allergy is that if your child eats a food, you will notice almost very quickly within a few minutes to few hours symptoms such as throat itching, um, vomiting, um, hives, or even anaphylaxis. This fast food allergy is mediated by a molecule that we call IgE. And this is the basis for several of the tests that your allergist will do. So for example, the allergy food test or the prick skin test for food allergies relies on this molecule and therefore will be able to give you a result as to which one is the culprit food for your child. In EOE, it's a little bit of a different story because we have more of the slow food allergy. In slow food allergy, you need repetitive ingestion of the same food to give you the chronic inflammation and the symptoms that we experience in EOE. So what does that mean when we talk about a slow food allergy? You need, so uh, what it means is that if your child eats a food, now you have eosinophils that get invited into the esophagus. Then, your child eats the food again, more eosinophils get invited to the esophagus. Now, these eosinophils do not come and go very quickly. They do set up shop, if you will. So now we have more and more eosinophils accumulating, and that will give us a chronic inflammation that will give us the symptoms. Now, so far, unfortunately, we do not have yet a test to identify with certainty the foods that would cause a food allergy, a slow food allergy in EOE, but the good news is that there are a lot of research uh, investigations going on worldwide that uh, look into the mechanism of EOE so that eventually a molecule and a test will be uh, discovered.